Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's gonna be all about how to post for Instagram photos. I'm basically giving you 10 easy Instagram poses, things that I do myself, and also some little tricks that you can do to help you take a beautiful picture. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. As always, everything I mentioned will be linked in the description box below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that red subscribe button down below as well as a notification bell for daily outfit inspirations. So you can follow me on Instagram. I am just Naomi Boyer and let's get to the video. All right, so my first easy Instagram pose, it's the one that I feel like always works for me. It's the ones I always end up liking the most are the candid poses. So whether you are just fixing your hair, getting ready to put your hand in your pocket, or even just laughing, those pictures I feel like the candid ones are always the ones that come out the best. And I feel like people on Instagram like those photos a lot because they're more natural, they're real, they're not too posy. Sometimes I like to just do a little twirl or a little fake dancing and those always come out really cute as well. So if you're looking for a good body shape in a picture, this second tip for easy Instagram pose is called the crossover. So it's basically you're just putting one leg in front of the other, kind of sticking your hip out a little bit. This will give you some curve to your body if you feel like the picture needs some of that or maybe it's looking a little bit dull. I feel like that helps me a lot too. You can almost just slow walk, just crossing over one leg in front of the other, just like that. Again, it's super easy and ends up looking super cute. All right, my third easy pose is the one hand in your hair look. I'm sure we all feel this way, but whenever we're taking a picture by ourselves, I always feel like I never know what to do with my hands. They just kind of look like lifeless with both arms down. And so what I always like to do is kind of just put my hand in my hair or just like brush my hair with my hand just to make it look like I'm kind of fixing my hair or about to side swoop my hair over. That just makes the picture and you look and feel a little less awkward. I feel like that always makes it a little more comfortable as well. All right, the next one is a strut or a walking pose. And this one's super self-explanatory. It is what it is. It's just taking a picture of you walking. It's kind of in the moment, you're shredding your stuff. The difference between this and the crossover that I mentioned earlier is that this one is more of like a fast paced, like on the go girl type of pose. So for this one, you can just start walking and then stop midway with like one leg up to make it look like you're walking or strutting. The other one is just basically having one foot in front of the other so that you have some shape. All right, next pose is the hand in the pocket pose. Again, this is another way to not look so awkward. Another way to do something with your other hand. Sometimes looking down while you're putting your hand in your pocket is a really cute pose. Be sure not to put your face down all the ways. The biggest tip here is if you have pockets, use them. Put both hands in your pockets. That way it will give your body some shape as well. Putting one hand in your pocket will also give the same effect. Always remember pockets are like a girl's best friend. All right, next pose I call the air hands. So two ways of doing this. Number one, if you're using some type of outerwear, whether it is a coat, Coat or a jacket or a long duster. A great way to show detail to this is to grab it by the edges and just kind of flare it out just like this in the air. You can get a lot of really great movement from what you're wearing. It also ends up kind of being a candid shot as well. Or if you don't have an outerwear piece or you're wearing an outer piece where that just doesn't look good, just putting your hands in the air just like that will just give the picture a lot of character and a lot of life. It'll fill up the space of the picture. Again, it's another real life, candid, in the moment type of shot. The next one is called the shoe or the shoe tie. If you wanna get really great details of your shoe, make the shoe kind of your accessory or your focus. If you're wearing a boot or any type of shoe with laces, you can kind of pretend that you're about to unlace it or lace it up. You can also just kind of look like you're about to touch your shoe or if you're using like a close toe pump, you can kind of act like you're gonna put your shoe on. Basically just bending over a little bit or picking your leg up a little bit, looking like you're gonna touch your shoe. Another super cute candid pose that you can always do. All right, the next pose is great for lifestyle shots. It's also another easy way to just look natural and to not feel awkward is to have some type of food or drink in your hand as a prop. So any prop will do, but I like having like a cup of coffee or having an ice cream cone in your hand is always so cute or even cotton candy or if you're eating a really cutely decorated acai bowl, that looks really cute as well. So just be creative and having props like that will always feel more lifestyle, more natural, more like you're a real person doing everyday stuff. 
Those are the pictures and photos that people feel like they can relate to the most. All right, the next pose is the purse in your hand pose. So whether you're holding your purse on your shoulder, you can kind of rest one hand on it, or you can hold it by its straps, just swinging it like that. Your purse can also basically be your prop. It could be part of your detail shot. Again, this is another really great way to have your arms not be awkward. So there are lots of things you could do with what you normally basically already have on a daily basis with your outfit. All right, so next I wanna give you guys a couple really quick tips on things that always help me especially when I'm feeling like my photos just aren't coming out great or maybe I'm not in the mood so wearing a hat and sunglasses wearing them together or separately maybe just a hat maybe just sunglasses always helps with maybe if you're having a bad hair day the hat can always cover that up but I feel like sunglasses and a hat and photos always pretty much for the most part come out flawless number one it really looks cute because it looks like you're wearing a lot of accessories for times like the summertime having a hat and sunglasses on when you're wearing shorts and maybe like a little top makes the outfit and the picture look more complete. Overall, a hat and sunglasses is kind of like the foolproof way to having a good picture all the time. All right, my second tip is having a good side is something that everyone always talks about. Um, so the way you can figure out what your good side is or maybe what your favorite pose is, is to take a picture of yourself doing exactly that so that when you do get out there, you start taking those pictures, you can refer back to that photo and recreate it and do exactly how it looks in the picture. Our next tip, I'm assuming you're gonna have someone else take your picture. Make sure to ask them to guide you and direct you because you're not seeing yourself. You probably won't have a mirror. And so make sure to remind them to tell you if your hair is sticking up, if you need to fix your hair, if you need to fix your shirt. They're the ones looking at the camera, so a lot of times they can direct you maybe, for example, which way to turn your head. They'll be able to see which direction it's gonna look better at. Just a little direction from them will help you tenfold and will save you a lot of time. Now, if you're like me, where you have an Instagram husband or boyfriend that doesn't really know how to take any pictures, an easy thing to do is to have him or her stand in the exact spot that you want the picture to be taken and take their picture and then show it to them and tell them that you wanna create exactly the same picture except with you in it. I feel like that's the best way to guide someone that is not a professional photographer so that both you and that person can be happy and save yourself some time. All right, my last tip is if you're wearing a jacket and for some reason, actually wearing the jacket doesn't really do much for your outfit in that photo, try wearing it over your shoulders. For the most part, just for the picture, it will stay if it's structured correctly. For example, a leather jacket looks really great over the shoulders, coats look really nice over the shoulders. Just for the picture's sake, it's not really practical to use it that way in real life, but it does really look good in pictures, so try it out. It's always worked for me. I've always loved that really chic look. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below if you want to see more videos like this one I'm open to video ideas if you made it this far in the video and you still haven't please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button down below hit the notification bell as well that way you don't miss out on any new videos like this one follow me on Instagram for daily outfit inspirations I'm just Naomi Boyer and I'll see you in my next video